Hey everyone, this is Joey Anderson here again from One and Hermits, and welcome to the latest development video for our point click game, An Adventure's Tale, set in the world of the Weave and the Void. Um, today I'm going to be touching base on some uh, stuff within the toolkit to deal with interactable objects. I just came across this um, that I'm working on and was like, man, this would be something probably pretty helpful, so I'm going to touch base on that. Um, but before we get into that, make sure if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon so you get future updates for stuff coming up in the future. More of these videos if you like them. If you don't, there's plenty of other stuff that's going to be coming that you might be interested in. Okay, so here's the area that we were dealing with within the scene. As you can tell, I've, I did a little bit more uh, work on it. Um, we're going to call this, I'm using air quotes here, you can't see me, but done for now. Um until we come back and work on more environmental type stuff. Um, adding wind to these trees and plants that don't have them um, so that they're moving and adding grass and flowers and probably some more rocks and all sorts of good stuff. But right now we're working on the crossroads. Um, so what we're gonna be working on is I threw together this um, to make it look like a road sign. So we want this to be an interactable object because when the character enters the crossroads, we want them to be able to read this road sign so that they know where they want to go. So what I did, created a blueprint, which I showed you how to do when we did this, converted it to a static mesh, which is here, right? So once you have that, here's the cool part. Okay, now you can go over in wherever you would like but within your folder. So as you can see, I have a whole bunch of stuff um, in here already. So this is my items folder. And someday I may organize this better. But um, this is where I was playing around with it earlier just to m make sure it was gonna work like I thought it would, like I've done it in the past. So what you wanna do is you want to come in here, you want to create a new blueprint class. Now, you want to in your classes you want to search for interactable object base, right? And that was what that's within the toolkit that we're using. Click that, and where to go? I think that's this one. Yes. Rename. Um, crossroads. Well, let me. I'm gonna have to delete this one first because otherwise it's gonna be grumpy about me renaming it. Rename crossroads sign. Right now, we have that. Open that up. It's gonna bring you to this window. Right. It's gonna be two things you want to add. You want to add a box collision. And you're going to come over here and you're going to want to set collision presets to block all. The other thing you're going to want to add is a static mesh component. And then when we click on that, we can come over here to static mesh and we can search for crossroads sign static mesh. And there it is. Now we can position this however we want, and you want your box to, oops, got the wrong thing selected. Hang on a second. This needs to be. Separate, there we go. So we can do that. Don't need it to be as wide. Let me get a little taller. Make it a little wider. Just so that it's, when we hover our mouse over it, pretty much gets the whole thing. That's the idea, right? Then we could 
compile and we save. Now, theoretically, we add this wherever we want it here. Now, when we click on it, we have all of this. We can change this to crossroads sign. Right? And now, I'm going to click play. I don't have it set up for the character to move over here just yet. But um, now when we click play and we come over here and we hover our mouse over it, it's going to show up in the tooltip as crossroads signs. And now that we have this as an interactable object, we can come in here. We can edit the blueprint, which opens this window, which is what we were just in. We were in the viewport. Now you can come over here and you can add all sorts of functions. Um, you can uh, whatever you want to do. We didn't. We don't want that. Um, so you can do it on inspection. That way you can have um, inspection dialog. So if we did that, so when you right click, then you could come in here and do start dialog sequence. And we haven't gotten into any of this stuff yet, but if you are following along and you're working with this toolkit and you've read about dialog, you've already got that figured out, well then this will help you. Um, we'll touch base on this at a later date when I get into writing the descriptions for this sign. I was just showing you that now that we have this set up as a interactable object, the, you know we have access to all of these functions within that. So what is that? Compile that, save, boom. So yeah, quick video today. I just wanted to go over that. Um, that's the importance of creating things into static meshes once you have pre-assembled them. So thanks for following along. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget if you want more of these to subscribe, follow along, hit the bell icon. Uh, leave a question, comment. Maybe you think I'm doing this wrong and you have a better idea. Let me know. Uh, yeah, stick around. Lots of exciting stuff coming on. Thanks again. We'll see you guys.